Okay, guys, today I'll be showing you how to put CTF themes on your PSP 3000 with the use of custom firmware enabler and CXMB. Alright, as you can see, this is my PSP 3000 microphone, thinner ring, and um, now I'll, get, I'll show you how to actually get everything on here so you can put themes on here. Alright, I'm going to want you to connect your PSP to your um, computer. Alright, get your PSP connected. Um, make sure you download the link in the description for the CXMB. Once you have that downloaded, um, I want you to open it and then click on it again there. Now click on light. And you have three files. You have CXMB, and I will want you to take that and and drag and drop it onto your PSP, onto the root of your PSP, and then the PSP folder in the CXMB. I want you to open that up, and then open the theme folder up in that and then I'll have the random.ctf and then on your PSP I want you to go to PSP theme and then drag and drop random ctf into your PSP theme folder now go all the way back to your Ruby memory stick and go back to the light. All right. Now for SE plugins, this is what made me had trouble. Um, here's the Vish. The Vish text is this right here, and you're gonna wanna copy and paste that into your Vish folder on your PSP. Which I'll show you. So you're gonna go to SE plugins, and then Vish. And then here's my visual. There's some more stuff in there. Because I have more stuff in there. Alright. Um, there's my CXMB. MSO CXMB. Now, the reason I have a zero after that is that's why it wouldn't work um, with just the one. Because since it's a PSP 3000, it has an on or off. And the one is on and the zero is off. So you're going to need to like copy and paste a zero next to the one for in your CXMB uh, Vish folder. And then once you do that, um, exit out of USB mode. Once you have all the files on, exit USB mode and go to um, your game folder. Click on that and click on custom firmware enabler. Once you're in custom firmware enabler, go to settings. Plugins, and as you can see, there's CXMB right there. And yours will be like that, so just click it again, and it'll turn on. Go back. Then, voila, you will have be able to put themes on your PSP. 3000 and oh and since they don't make themes for PSP 3000 5.03 um, you're gonna want the the theme converter came with um, your CXMB file and all you have to do is download a theme um, like and then uh, WinRAR it or unzip it or whatever and then take the actual theme file 
drag it in this folder and just click on that and I'll um, convert it right there. You don't have to do anything else. And then um, put that onto your PSP and then you'll have things. Okay, your PSP 3000. Thank you guys so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, and then I'll put a description in. I mean, I'll put a link in the description for uh, tons of PSP themes. Alright, thanks guys. Goodbye.